What's going on? I th oh, look at this. Look at this prime time with the uh, with the old frame. I mean, I'm just going to... I would probably take prime time anyway, but that old frame is really pushing me. Everflowing Chalice and Hedron Archive. Okay, so those are in here. Cube Talisman. <laughs> Found 10. Chanel, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm just going to take prime time. And the old frame. Actually, um, one thing that's nice is that my uh, secret layers have shipped finally. The uh, the super, I think they're called the super smitten secret layer. And they should get here Friday. So that's cool. I mean, upheaval, but is there no, there's no signets. So is there like worn power stone and, and Thran dynamo? I mean, we're already got prime time. So I think we're definitely taking upheaval here. Ideally breeding pool or acidic slime tables. That would be pretty cool. If I can put this old border, you're going to put the, this, this new vintage masters upheaval, but you're going to put this old border primeval Titan. I don't understand. Make them all old border. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Thrag. Oh, a new board of Thrag Tusk, too. <laughs> Love it. What is this plateau? What now these are broken too. And you only have like the one color and the, how does this, how does this, how lightning Phoenix? What is this thing? Two, two for three with flying and haste. Obviously the Phoenix. If, if an opponent was still through more damage, you may pay red to return for your, that's actually, it's actually not bad. It's a pretty reasonable Phoenix. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this Gary or gilded Lotus. I think it's Gilded Lotus. I like I like Gary a lot though. Gary's this this is a pretty decent Gary. Yeah, I want to take the Garrick. Ooh, Kogla. Not taking show and tell because come on. How many six drops are we taking though? I don't really want I don't really want Deep Forest Hermit though. And there's I don't really care about these lands, to be quite honest. I think Kogla's probably pretty good. I mean, I don't love 36 drops, but I'm under the impression that uh, we should get some ramp, maybe. So my roommate showed up black, black, black up drunk. You mean, do you mean blackout drunk? I assume you mean blackout drunk. I've never heard black up drunk. <laughs> What's up drunk? Uh, blackout drunk at 3 a.m. while I was knocked out. I was not awakened by his drunken stupor. However, my other roommates found him covered in vomit in the bathroom. I can't be mad because at least he made it to the bathroom. He didn't wake me up and he wasn't rude in the morning. However, he had the audacity to eat the remaining half of my pizza. He will fart. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is most early life in the mil in the bar early military life in the barracks. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is like the only real option. I guess we. I mean, like Sky Sky Sovereign is fine, but. Oh, I like a great hinge. I'm gonna. I will. I will forsake one elvish mystic for a great hinge for sure. Especially when we have six power, seven power, which makes this cost like two mana. Hoof is in the cube. That's nice. I like this Vivian. Okay, we're definitely more green than blue. I'm gonna put this over here for now because uh, there's really no reason to be blue just yet. <sighs> Tribe Elder seems great. I was like, black up drunk? You know, I've never heard that. <clears throat> you guys ever been black up drunk? Uh, Genesis wave? I mean, it's probably the only one. I'm sure. We can, maybe we're Genesis waving. Who knows, you know?
Oh, wow. Acidic Slime did come back. Breeding Pool did not. So... Also, Grave Titan came back, which is kind of surprising. Maybe Black Up Drunk is like Black Out, but you also had a ton of Red Bulls, so you're up. And, yeah, you get, it, Black Up gives you wings. Gilded Lotus also came back. All right, so we just need some cheap stuff because our top end is looking, looking sweet. What if the Night of Autumn comes back? Oh, Den Protector. I don't love Den Protector in comparison to like Eternal Witness, but I'll still play it if I if I have to. I don't think it's terrible by any means. Oh, we got Burgie. Pretty sure it's just Corsair of Crufix here. Still don't think we're in any position to upheaval yet. Do you know why that card is called the Great Henge? Well, my assumption would be because they named it that. It's because nobody wanted to play with the card called the Just OK Henge. That sounds about right. Uh, I do like Nicol Bolas. I like Hornet Queen. The worst part about Hornet Queen is putting six power of creatures on the board, but only two of it counts towards the Great Henge. <sighs> Treasure Map Karn and Hornet Queen are pretty much the options that we have here. I mean, Hornet Queen's pretty, pretty banging. This pack's also pretty decent. Something could come back. I think it's bees. Like, I mean, like, Hornet Queen actually has won me a lot of, oh, look, but this one's working great. So that's interesting. I'm not going to take it because all we have is upheaval. I will, however, take an Ugin. And now we got seven, eight, nine. Oh, Overgrown Battlement? Sure, why not? I mean, this is the kind of thing we want at two mana. Look at that Anger of the Gods with uh, with Yargle. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay. Tireless Tracker? Sure. These picks have been pretty easy, but like they're all actually pretty decent. Sort by color, nice. Sort by mana value. So now we have seven, eight, nine. We have a Garrick. We have a Vivian. We have an Ugin, so we're not taking Immortal Sun. I think Jade Light Ranger is pretty good. Plow Under will... Oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? Slash the ranks? Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. What is that from? And I need a copy of it. That's actually really sweet for, for Cube. Commander Legends. Oh man, that's a dollar? Yeah, we're. Oh, I was going to take it. I'm like, wait, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely taking Cradle here. Wreck Sage is a banger. Oh, these are. I'm getting these on Friday as well because I got the uh, the Kaldheim Showcase Titans, which is pretty sweet. But we're taking Wreck Sage. Wreck Sage is pretty indispensable. Uh, maybe it's actually less indispensable in. Wow, I can't believe I've never seen Slash the Ranks before. That's crazy. It makes me think I actually did not look through Commander Legends very well. So now tonight I'm going to spend some time looking through Commander Legends and seeing... Um, I'm probably going to look through the set and remove the word Commander from the cards. Like, go through it and be like... Search specifically for cards that don't have the word commander in them. Because maybe that's actually... Maybe that's actually not necessary to do. Treasure Map came back. That's actually amazing. 
Because the thing is, like, you could have cards that are actually relevant even though they have the word commander on them. So maybe I'll just disregard that. Yeah, because then I wouldn't find Slash the Ranks because it says destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. Like, I just wouldn't find that card because it has the word commander on it. So never mind. We'll just find it naturally. This is a solid 20 cards for being in pack two. <laughs> Plow under did come back. That's pretty sweet. Could also take trop, but I don't, I mean, plow under is just a banger. Don't know why they're using white bordered plow under, but you know, I guess everybody uh Hendrick, fine. We don't we don't have a hoof yet. But I feel like if there is one, we'll probably get it because I mean the green cards are in uh in heavy supply here. This is also basically a land, so We do need more ramp. We have Search, Overgrown, and Secure Tribuller so far, which is not a ton. Eh, neither of these are important. <laughs> Tooth and Nail. Oh, I like Vanishing Verse a lot. This card's pretty sweet. Two mana, just exile a monocolored permanent. Yeah, we're just taking Tooth and Nail. I mean, that seems like a no-brainer. My brand. <laughs> See, that's funny. See, that's good stuff, man. Uh, I believe there are swords. I do not know about. Uh, I believe there are mana dorks. I do not know about swords, rather. Uh, okay, still no. Still no gentlemen. Do we have no four drops? We just go from three to five. That's interesting. I don't think we need Terastodon. I think it's either Dryad or Thran Dynamo. I think it's Thran Dynamo. Sword by mana value. Yep, that is our first four drop. Questing Beast. Oh, there's the Eternal Witness, which will easily... Re what is wrong with this Hextringer? <laughs> Hextringer, you're drunk. I would easily replace Den Protector. Questing Beast also good. Yeah, all three of these cards are just fine for our deck. Even Dismember is a reasonable option. I think we're gonna take the beast. Uh Farseek's actually kind of awkward because we're mono green and we don't actually have anything to go get that isn't a forest. I guess Cold Steel Heart. Actually, Cold Steel Heart's fine then. It's they're, they're both kind of doing the same thing. <sighs> Do I just take Kozilek here? <laughs> Yeah, I'm down for a Kozilek. We have a uh, 
We have a tooth and nail. I don't even know if we're tooth and nailing yet. Like we only have Hornet Queen and like Primeval and Kogla to get. So we'll put this in the sideboard for now. That <laughs> feels weird, but that's okay. Let's take old Denny out. Emrakul. I think it's Arbor Elf here. Ancient Tomb's cool, but Arbor Elf is kind of similar. Plus we have a Gaia's Cradle, so having more creatures that actually fuel the cradle is kind of what you want to do. Oh, there's an Avenger of Zendikar and a Coalition Relic. Those are both pretty late. I mean, we're just taking the Avenger here and probably playing it. Sylvan, yep, Sylvan Carry Added seems good. It also has Defender, so it actually works well with Overgrown Battlement. Also, these two having Old Warriors is super satisfying. Mm, take Sword. <laughs> it's not good. I actually haven't been watching Thor, but yes, that is definitely in the... Wow, Dryad came back and Terastodon came back. All cards, all of these cards are green. Green, red, green, black, green, 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 blue. Uh, that's actually kind of comical. Maybe I'll take Dryad. Oh, wow, the Eternal Witness came back? Okay. Okay. Wow. Farseek came back, kind of dead for us. Yeah, let's take Thirst. You do love to see it. Wow, two removal spells. Yeah, I'll just take one of them, I guess. Birthing Pod, sure. All is dust. <laughs> Truth be told, I actually don't think I recognized that the first time it came around, so... You know, um, wow, four cuts, huh? I feel like we can cut Gilded Lotus. Like in a mono green deck, it's just kind of worse than Thran Dynamo. Uh, three, three, three. You're a one drop. Over on Sakura, Sylvan, Callisto map. We could probably cut Genesis Wave. I think we can also play 16 lands. So we just have to cut one more thing, huh? 16 creatures. I kind of want to cut Plow Under, to be quite honest. I don't think it's Thran Dynamo, because, like, turn, like, if we have three mana, or we have four mana, we play Thran Dynamo, we untap into eight if we play a land. So it lets us play all four of these by itself, which is pretty sweet. I mean, I, I'm cutting Plow because we already have Acidic Slime, which gets rid of one of those two. I don't know if that's... I think that's fine, though. 15. 16. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I mean, even if we know how Hoof, this seems like a pretty solid... Yeah, my only problem with Kozilek is the only way we're really getting good value out of it is with Tooth and Nail. Did you get your snacks? I don't even know what that means. Oh, the Serpents? No, not yet. No, Coma's Coil has been pretty pretty hard to uh, to get a hold of, unfortunately. Oh, what up, Dan? Snacks? 
That's Dan, but in snake form. Okay, well, no. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to ship the Ugin, unfortunately, but I think it's kind of greedy to ship a land. Maybe we do ship a land. We'd still have three and a Courser. You know what? I live dangerously. Yeah, Gilbert, if you're able to find any, that'd be super sweet. I would really, really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, any tips on what's good, considering this is my first Legacy Cube draft and they've changed it a little bit? I don't know. I, I never like playing Corsair uh, when you don't get an immediate chance to put a land into play, but considering we don't have a 4-drop, and if they kill it, we can just get it back now with Eternal Witness, I think it's fine. Of course, we didn't know that. Okay, Fall from Favor is actually really good, and I'm surprised it's in this cube. Good grief. Wow. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm not just going to play an Eternal Witness. Oh, God. This is funny because, like, I would have taken, like, just enchantment removal higher had I known that how do I feel about Oka being in this cube I mean it's I don't know it's probably fine there's kind of a discard here I feel like they're gonna counter this and it's gonna suck. Oh, but they did not. Let's do trample here because if they play a creature like a two-two, I want to be able to attack into it. So, well, they're already on a point where they're drawing three, three cards off of the <laughs> being the monarch, but. Okay, that's a dude. That is a gentleman. Oh boy. So this is six mana, huh? So we're for a creature with lesser mana value. So we can play this guy, search for a four drop. All right, let's see what we got here. Questing Beast. We could deal one to the... Actually, Questing Beast seems really good here. Do you have Trample? No. Okay, we don't want that then. <laughs> and then we're like, all right, I'll tag this guy. Sack four things. Oh, no, I guess we're dead. Uh, that's pretty bad. I actually think it's just Sylvan Carry added because it lets us Ugin next turn. Ugh. We have to negative four, but that does leave us Vivian. Actually, six, seven, we, we have Dryad. Let's Dryad here. Yeah, now we can get another another land off the top. Let me get rid of your Dark Slick Shores here. Um. Yeah, and if they want to attack, we can just block with Acidic Slime. All right. And now we have a good mana anyway, so. I just made gravy and I'm blown away by how much I feel like a moderately confident cook right now. I'm more confident, congrats, buddy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, all right.
I think this is fine. We're going to lose it anyway, and they're going to lose this when we Ugin next turn, so... And then we have Eternal Witness as well, so... Oh, let's attack and be the Monarch. Well, thank goodness. Now we are the Monarch. Satisfying. Exile each permanent. One, two, three. Four. So we're doing four. Corsair of Crew Fix, I love you, but Obliterator is a little too much for us. All right, that seems decent. Is there anything? Is that better? A little bit more? It's like a, there's like the sweet spot. Oh, good. How nice. Fucking, that's annoying. Okie dokie. Man, that moment when you're like, hey, look, I did it. Just kidding. Cool. It's really frustrating. Graveyard. Top. Yeah, then we have Eternal Witness to get something back. Man, I feel like the Monarch has just dominated this game. <sighs> cool mono flyers that we can't contest sounds good Actually, that's not bad. We fight this guy. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're one mana shy. This is actually sick. Fight you. Negative six. Wow, with the swings. Let's Eternal Witness get back Kogla. Because then we can bounce Eternal Witness. Is it combat damage? Uh, whatever control is combat damage, yeah. Man, this has been a wild game. Okay, that's fine. Yep, we get, they get to kill Ugin, but we get to be the Monarch again. So they're going to draw a card, we're going to draw a card. We're going to play Hornet Queen. Theoretically, that's fine. Um, hmm. So this is 12 mana. We play this for 6 Seven, eight, and then we have four left over. That might be better.
This is the weird glitch that Magic Online does. Where it replays your fucking game and like... Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Sounds good. Well, I'll pause it for you guys watching on YouTube. Okay, so we just re-logged in and I guess this is where we're at now. So I guess I'll keep this hand. And maybe our... Okay. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going to play the game. Yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, let's just play Courser, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, just going right to their cleanup step. This is a good solid. This is a, this is a solitaire. Am I solitaring this? Okay, they've conceded from the. I don't know what's going on right now. I this is this is game two. Nobody knows. It's a definitely different game. I don't. It's definitely. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's. A, it's got to be a different game because we started over, right? So like, no matter. There's no way it could be the same game. So it's either a draw. In which case the records remain the same, and it's it's a, just a new game where we're both 001. Which, in case it's a new game, or no record has been recorded, and we've started over, so it's a new. So in other in either case, it's a new game. If that makes sense. Um, oh, we didn't even play Kazandu Mammoth. Like, look at that man! What a what a what a boneheaded maneuver here. We could also play Vraska Relic Seeker to kill some of these flyers that we don't like. Like we have Blooming Marsh and we can also put in this uh, if they if they let us do that. There we go. And we can probably take out something stupid, not you. Actually, we can probably take out Rex Age. I didn't see many, if any, targets for a Rex Age. Yeah, it seems fine. I'm just kind of kind of blown away at that amazing series of events uh this hand seems worse with the five six seven drops i'm gonna mulligan i don't think this is better but we're at least ramping to five off of dryad so that's cool yeah all right never mind Sweet. Drawing two lands, huh? Sounds good. <laughs> I actually don't even know what caused it. I wish I knew the cause of that, that massive glitch. Three lands. Sounds good. Three forests in a row. Yeah, this is game nine and three quarters, correct. Main phase impulse. Interesting. Well, I don't look, I don't care if I pump this guy this turn. I just want to play around four spike if that's in this cube. So we're just going to play force. I'm just going to play forest into, into Kazandu, Mammy. Mammy. Okay, well, I hope you hit all lands, but the likelihood of that is low considering I've drawn all lands. Seems good. Okay, the old double trigger and we're just going to get in there like this guy was made for attacking and Gonti was made for blocking so it's match made in 
three toughness heaven. Whatever that means. Well, we can play Kogla and kill this, which is kind of nice. They do get to draw Mole Drifter, but and that seems fine, right? I mean, if they do have Force Spike, it's rough, but. What do you think of Life Touch? <laughs> oh, good. Your favorite and mine. <sighs> That's annoying. And we get to, get to attack and kill our Corsair. Or our treasure map, I guess. Or our Great Hinge, I guess. <laughs> it's like kind of, kind of annoying, right? Dragon Lord Solengar is a real bitch. So they either can kill this or this. So, you know. Okay, Garrick and my face. Yep. I'm just going to take it here. So hinge is nine, so it's going to cost six. So I think we're, for fuck's sake, dude. Six, seven. I think we're hinging on the bottom because it just doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Cool, neither does that. Let's, I'm just going to concede here. This is fucking untenable. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, like, we would have taken, we block here, we would have taken seven. They've drawn a card. I don't know. It just doesn't seem ideal. I mean, like, do we just bring in Heroes Downfall and more black sources? Maybe. So this is 16 lands, this guy's 17 lands, right? So this is 16 lands. Um, I kind of like Lotus here over Thran Dynamo because I can just tap Lotus and cast Hero's Downfall off of it. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder if it's worth playing All's Dust and Thran Dynamo. The problem is on a typical board, we're gonna have way more colored permanents than they are. We'll just play it like this and see if it makes a difference. Okay, okay.
yield until the next end step. Did they miss a land drop? Did they mulligan? They did not mulligan, and they missed a land drop. Fascinating. Hmm. We only have four mana, so I kind of want to put this in the graveyard and put that in the graveyard, unfortunately. I mean, we have three five drops and an eternal witness to get any of these back, so two five drops, rather. So I'm kind of more interested in being able to just cast the cards we have. Okay, this is a weird keep. I mean, if you had, like, Swamp Thoughtseize, I'd be like, okay, that makes sense, but... To just keep Swamp? And without going to even six? Like... I'm not sure I understand. Slime the Swamp. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, usually, like that's kind of bm but also like in the same on the same hand like if you just kept a one lander then why are we gonna just get we're done here right like like just go to six they let you mulligan and the end. Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, so they're just like, well, I hope I hit a blue and I'll get search for Azkanta. And if I hit any land, I can Shriek Maw. And if I hit any blue, like if they hit any blue, they have Ancestral Baleful and Shriek Maw. Or and like they have like six plays actually if they hit any blue, but like I don't know. What can you do? Yeah, I'm a little toasty in here. Maybe I'll just turn on the fan. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep this because of search. If we hit one more land, then we got turn three Thran Dynamo or turn three Courser. Are you actively searching for more collector's vision? Um, depends on which ones, but kind of. I mean, I'm not just searching for random stuff. I'm searching for stuff that it's going in my cube. Okay, that was pretty good. So now we can either have Corsa or Thran Dynamo. I not Stasis, and I do have Winter Orb. I mean, it's got to be Thran Dynamo, right? That puts like a million mana on the board. What if Thran Dynamo added like three of any one color oh then it's just black lotus stupid yeah that's a good point thank you for correcting me chat it's like it's so swoopy today i don't love it i love the uh turn two refellos off of a non-forest land that's a good uh that's what's known as a non-bow in the biz
arcane art <laughs> two non-forests now okay well that's a big one Without a land, I'm kind of reluctant to play Avenger here. I think we're just going to play Primeval Titan. Not going to get Cradle either because, well, actually, Cradle would be good next turn, right? Then we can just Avenger and then, yeah, that would have been, maybe that was a pro play. Do they do the any one color thing as a reference to Black Lotus or because it's pain to tap stuff for multiple colors and um, I think it's for balancing reasons, like adding multiple colors. I don't even think it's for digital. I think it's because like if you're adding like three of like it's it's hard to like be like, oh, I had one white, one red, one green. Like that's actually extremely powerful. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy. Man, can you imagine if we had a six, seven, eight? We have nine more mana this turn. Can you imagine? More powerful is you add the mana in the dopey voice. That's true. Well, I'm gonna add. Oh, good. They're gonna. They're gonna wait. That's. Oh, they do have two forests. Interesting. I thought they only had one forest. Well. Here comes the Eldrazi. That's going to be sad. What the fuck is this? Magus of the Order. Oh, it's a natural order. That's interesting. Always yes. What is Magus of the Order from? Again, if once I see an extended art, I'm like, oh, this has got to be new. Another Commander Legends card that I didn't even know existed. You know what? I, You know what I love about Cube? I love Cubes being updated. I love seeing new cards in Cubes. It just makes my, it just makes my heart a flutter. Even on like Gilded Lotus or whatever. I don't know. I think at that point it's just ease. I think it's just confusing. I think it's confusing for like the game state or not for the game state, but like for activations to like choose three separate mana. Like I'm going to add blue, blue, green. I'm going to add white, blue. It's harder to keep track of, especially if you're like untapping it and then tapping it again. Um, Which is why I think like cards like replicating, replicating ring have like a clause where they add eight of them or like the, um, the new one that like you can kick and it adds different copies of it. Like, I think R&D just doesn't like having an artifact produce more than one color because it, I think it's kind of, it probably feels a little sloppy. Um, What is this? A million? They have one blue, so that's not terrifying. Search now for a green creature. Put on the battlefield, then shuffle. Let's play this thing. This is so much, so much manus. Okay, add 14. <laughs> That's a thing, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna draw six here. Okay. All right. Um, I 
Mark, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Um, always yield. Okay, they just scooped. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> we were kind of going off, dude. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, the mammoth again. <laughs> okay. Well, we didn't see much from them. Hey, it's the cube. What up, Super Fritz? Super Fritz, are you off tomorrow? Are you back to normal? When we splashed the black, we also had Cold Steel Heart. Snap, keep that. Good old Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. That's a good, that was a good hit. I don't usually play a course around turn two if I can't hit a land, but I think it's just better mana use. And also, I'm not terribly scared of them being able to kill it. Hmm. I don't think that's better. I also think they have sixth here, so. That's not bad, but I have slime. Really? Cool. Uh, let's go land. One, two, Bowment. One, two, Coldy Boy. Name Greenles. Okay, so they get a Fauna Shaman and a Queen on top. Kind of hoping they play the Fauna Shaman because it doesn't do much. Arbor Elf not being a mana ability. Yeah, it's there's a couple things that aren't mana abilities that are kind of obnoxious because of it, like Wall of Wall of Roots specifically. Where you're like, oh, you're not gonna let me take it back, huh? Okay. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we had one more mana, we can go Kogla into Great Hinge. Oh, they're just not doing anything. All right. Big Koga Kogla. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Fuck it. He <laughs> said, Good games. Good luck at the next game. Is Mike with you? No, Michael is asleep in his bed. Oh, we got a prim big prims. We got a hornet. Yeah, they got a hornet in hand. Michael has a job, guys. Let the man work. He's probably eating and chilling some of our good games. Like, <laughs> thanks, man. Cool, cool, cool. So we are 2 0. All right. Let's see if we can close it out. Oh my God. Yeah, you guys should send Mike a bunch of text messages to either wake up to or to, uh, to get right now if he's just watching YouTube himself.
<laughs> God. Oh, that baby Mikey beam. Our opponent is 1-0 or 2-0. Ah, you know what? I have a good feeling that we're going to draw nothing but gasoline from here on out. Call me crazy. I got positive thinking on my side, guys. Positive thinking. Dude, I get calls every day and they're like, we're trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. And I'm like, this is the dumbest scam I've ever heard. I just don't actually understand it. Basic Mountain is pretty good for us, I think. Especially with a course around turn two, three, two, three. It's three. I think it's sudden shock here. iPhone lets you silence all unknown numbers. Um, on mine it does say scam likely, but I mean, the problem is sometimes I've have unknown numbers and I'm like, oh no, it's my doctor. Oh no, it's my, it's the landlord that we're trying to get a. Oh cool, so I just drew a land. Let's see if there's a land on top. There is, and it'll another land under that. So three in a row, three lands, three lands in a row. Living the dream, guys. So they four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands to three spells. Oh Lord. What if your car's warranty is expired? Oh, you're just gonna two for one this guy. Okay. Well, I guess we're not doing anything for at least a turn here. Next time I'm just gonna answer and be like, oh man, not my car's warranty. I was just at the dealership. They said everything was fine. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Like if they're not um if they're not actually <laughs> like robocalling telemarketers, then they'll just leave a message. That's a good point, Marcus. Hey, bro, can you guys just leave me a message? Because why are you calling me? It's 2021. Do you not know how text-based messaging works? Warren D's nuts. Uh, you know, I should do that. I don't think you're wrong. Basically at all. So it's kind of... Uh, we're definitely going to kill the Luminar Gasparin because that's a 4 4 and it just gets bigger, whereas the Bone Crusher does not. Well, we have a bunch of lands. And they have no lands, so that's cool. <sighs> Eternal Witness would be sweet. We play Eternal Witness, get like Courser of Crew Fix back. Actually, we'd probably get Secret Tribal. One, two, three, one, two. Because then we have seven. We can play Eternal Witness, play Tribelder, keep up two mana to rescue Kogla, and then next turn we can start Coursering. So. <laughs> oh man. Marcus, I think you're I think you're diabolical, buddy. I started rewatching The Sopranos recently. I'm like three quarters of the way through season one. I think that show definitely holds up. I'm going to be honest, like, I'd rather go to, I'd rather block here 
then go to 10 and have them two for one. Sure, yeah, it's totally fine. Like, this is a two for one. Like, it, they have nothing on board, and like, we still get to play things, so. Six. Wow, that could have cost two mana, and then we could have followed up with Overgrown Battlement. Maybe that was two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we still get to play it next turn. Like, if we let's draw Primeval Titan, though, that'd be sweet. Then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, Great Henge. Let's do it. Roll that beautiful henge footage. Standard beat, I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate the things you add to this to this chat family. Is Kogla Ewit borderline an Ewit Revelark situation? It's very good. And you can kind of loop it forever. Uh sure, that's fine. I feel like if they don't have a way to deal with artifact, which is very likely they might, um, Great Henge probably takes over this game. Primeval Titan is our call. That was that was not, but that's actually not terrible because we can go Henge, gain two, draw a card, put a one four hex proof into play. So, all things considered, it was a playable card <laughs> off of the Great Henge that lets us draw a card. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, I get it. All right, we got mana. So to be clear, the last two cards we've drawn were Sylvan Library, Sylvan Carry Added, and Gaia's Cradle. <laughs> Green deck has mana. More at eleven. They only have four cards. It's not the worst. I mean, this is a, this is a, it's got hexproof, so I'm just going to block. You can pyroclasm. It seems worse for you. Bees would be good here, but keep in mind they only get one counter and one card because it's only non-tokens. If John Cena was a magic card, what color would it be? Probably blue. Um, and the reason being that blue has lots of ways to camouflage themselves, like unblockable. And, uh, you can't really see John Cena. So. Charming Prince, do you blink your seasoned pyromancer or your recruiter of the guard? I mean, if they have a bunch of junk in their hand, probably seasoned pyromancer. <laughs> Invisible Stalker, nice. Okay. Okay. So this guy's gone. Really? No extended art, though. That's fascinating. Like, why would you put this extended art, but not this extended art? You know? And why not this show? Embereth Shieldbreaker was showcased, but not Bone Crusher Giant. And Luminarch Aspirin is extended art, <laughs> but not Charming Prince, even though... I don't... Yeah, I don't get it. Kogla not extended art as well. I don't know. It's very random. Great Henge not... That's like a wrist, okay. Okay, I like that. That's actually pretty good. That draws us two at the very least. Oh, well then. <laughs> well, we're gonna play this guy. Oh, this also adds two mana? Oh, geez. How much do we have? Three, four, five? 12 mana, huh? Okay. It actually might have just been smarter to just tap basic forests for this. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13.
just gonna kill the charming prince because it's kind of a, it's kind of a loop with the flicker wisp. Plus, I don't really. I mean, like if they want to blank this again, that's fine. I don't know. They probably have like Council's Judgment or Banishing Light or something to get rid of it. But I still think we're in good shape. We could actually Garrick and draw six cards. <laughs> then we have like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 mana. Yeah, that's a lot. If you ever want to have a brain hemorrhage, look into the stuff MTGJSON has to do to keep track of all the different frame treatments now. What is MTGJSON? I have never, what is this? I've never even seen this site. What is this? Oh my God. This looks really, as not a software engineer, this looks really confusing <laughs> and really complex. Okay, you got this guy. What are you what are you blunking? Yeah, okay, figured it was recruiter. Sounds good. I mean, without even knowing how intricate this is, I'm very impressed by it already, so I think they're trying to figure out if they're dead. I mean, the answer is yes. Yes, they are dead. But they just have to figure it out. So negative three does the deed. Let's see what they get now. They're not dead, but they aren't alive either. Yeah, that's true. That is, that is a true. Play a land, make a clusal. So it actually doesn't kill this, but then we can follow up with the Rex Sage. Cause like they're gonna kill our best guy anyway. So it's, I think it's actually just fine to do this. Um, it's gonna exile one, two, oh, these three. The thing is, do we wanna like play Garrick first and draw a million cards? I think having Garrick on the board might be better. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. And we're actually gonna do this first because I don't care if they block, like it's not a big deal. Right, Ugin won't exile him, but I also wanna just make a beast here. Because I feel like this and this is going to be more than enough to win the game. Yeah, because it does kill him. Guess I don't need to tap that, huh? One, two. Kill this thing. Draw a card. Oh, I'm going to search for tomorrow, huh? Three, Gary. We're definitely cracking this now. Play Dynamo. And just cast Search here. 
and that'll do pig so we know they have skyclave apparition because you can get rid of this or this can't get rid of the beast which is fine so we're gonna have a blocker for i mean if they if they had they don't have the mana like they would have to have two more mana here yeah that's just fine I mean, as long as, like, this, this, and this are safe from Skyclave, I'm totally fine with that. Plus, we can Lightning Bolt this. We get another 3-3. Three, three. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, we would have drawn that, which would have given us a free card. Would have drawn that, given us a free card. Free card. Free card. And uh, that probably would have been the end of the road there, I would imagine. Because on do Mammoth... Third game in a row, third match in a row that we haven't included that guy. Is there anything that just kills a bunch of things? This might be an all his dust matchup. They might just have more stuff than we do. <laughs> that is pro that's probably good enough. Now, I'm no expert here. Oh, see, now you're talking. <laughs> see, that's hilarious because that's exactly their colors. Take Thran Dynamo out. Maybe that's poop. Wow. Sort of sort of War and Peace, man. What a beating. Oh, so first turn search, second turn Sylvan carry added. Yeah, this is good. Or treasure map, either one. I like it's another situation where I like playing treasure map on the turns I can activate it. Whereas getting Sylvan carry added down sooner is just better. Are we going to 3 0? Second turn Sylvan, how? You just cast it. You just, you just, you just tap the mana, Marcus. Look, look here, watch. There you go. Say it like that. Oh, I didn't have forest. No, I did. Totally did. Man, they have Imperial Recruiter and Recruiter, but all they got was like dirtily, like, I mean, the creatures they got were fine, but like not super impressive. Like they're just going to get Flicker Wisp here to Flicker Wisp the Imperial Recruiter. Like, let's not, let's not pretend you're going to get something different here, buddy. Come on, you're just being silly right now. Just get that wisp. For some reason, my desktop audio is not working. That's weird. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Does that do it? Let's find out. Yep, that fixed it. Okay. What'd they get? Recruiter? Isn't Flicker Wisp just a better recruiter? Like, you play Flicker Wisp, you blink this guy. It's the same as playing this, except you have a 3-1 flyer? I'm not sure I understand that, but... What do I know? Like, this is just literally worse. I don't know. Whatever, man. You do you. You do you. So... I think we just go Tracker Mammoth. Or we can go Dry Mammoth. That doesn't do anything. And next turn we can try to hit lands off Jade Light Ranger, which seems fine. One more land would have been great here, but eh, it's still fine. We, we hit a land, we got a clue, and we played a Tracker, and we, we got another land. Bernard, 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 Bernard. I got it.
don't know what's going on here. Firebolt, my tractor, my tireless, tireless tractor. I mean, if we do hit a land, we get to Kogla something. They might just have Flicker Wisp in hand, in which case I'm like, oh, that makes much more sense. Blade Splicer. So because we know they have Flicker Wisp, I'm kind of interested in killing this, but not now because Jade Light Ranger. I kind of just want two lands here. Uh, graveyard. One land. I accept. Uh, treasure map or dryad? Treasure map. I can only play one land a turn anyway, so. Reading the card explains the card. What is that reference to? That's true. Can't even, can't even disagree with you. <laughs> Tireless tractor is a vehicle that can plow under. You're not kidding. Just went through off my first draft. Maxwell, nice buddy. Not bad. It's not bad. Well, might as well get that value. Should have done this. Pr I'm going to bottom this guy. We have way more than enough big fat baddies. I feel like they're outclassed. Is that... Okay, they're probably going to make another. Yeah, that's fine. So in this case, I kind of want to play Kogla here, especially if we hit a land. If we hit a land, I'm just like slam big Kogs because I want to start attacking and killing their golems. Yeah, even if we don't hit a land, I'm still playing Kogla. And then next turn, we can prime time. I don't care if they blade splicer again. <laughs> I don't I also don't know what can blink it at this point. Like, I mean you could have like Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki to play and blink the blade splicer a bunch of times, but that's fine. Courser would be good here. This is kinda like a courser. It's like a it's like again this again this is a card without the extended art. I don't get it. Me no no. Okay, both of these we know you have lightning helix, so I'm actually just going to take six here. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, lightning helix puts us to eight. And then we have, we know they have recruiter. I'm assuming they have helix because helix would be able, I mean, that's a terrible trade for us where they just, we block, they first strike and then they helix it. So, okay, they didn't play anything. We know they have recruiter. We're, we're assuming they have helix. Okay. What is this? Char? Sure. Okay, so now we know they have one card in hand and it's Recruiter. That's fascinating. Let's get this fat daddy out. 
One, two. Yeah, and also like both of those were uh well I guess I guess the char was good. Like if we block they go char and then we just lose our guy, so <clears throat> And I still feel like we're in very good shape. Like I, now I'm pretty sure I'll block a golem. I might block two golems. Who knows? I don't think Jade Light Ranger is doing us any favors. We do have to be careful of Firebolt, but Firebolt and Golem are not going to kill this. And we know one of their cards is Recruiter, so they had to have top deck a three damage burn spell here. Which is not the most likely thing they could have done. Block and block. Got that helix. No. Okay, so we just get to eat a guy. Sure, that seems good. Bone crusher. Yep. Shield mate. Not shield mate. Cha Arming prince. Chi arming prince. Okay. Sounds good. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. So we actually can go. Triad. Green, green. It's Tribe Elder. See, this time I might just draw six. That seems good. So, we know they still have Recruiter. They can Firebolt this guy. We attack with this guy. They, I think we're actually just holding back here until next turn. I don't think giving them a turn is really going to make or break anything. Plus, we have a lot of. Did I not play land? I think I only played one land. Wow, what a dum dum. I mean, I still couldn't have played another thing because we'd have one, two, three, four. I did miss a land. Maybe I wanted to hold them both for the Avenger of Zendikar. Did you ever think about that? Ooh, okay. Bring, I guess, non-creature spells this turn. Yeah, another, another search card. Usher of the Fallen, sure. I feel like this is just like a mono green deck, but you'll never have Crater Hoof. You'll never have Crater of. The old questing biznatch. Five, six, seven. This should seal the deal. I can't imagine. <laughs> Avengers not good enough here. Always yes, always yield. So one, two, three, four, 
questing beast. Um, uh, sure. This guy. This lady. Um, shoot something. Probably this guy. And we're just gonna waste our two, I think. We're not doing anything with it. We don't have extra mana anywhere, so. Combat, attack, beast, and this guy. Oh yeah, we're definitely activating Vivian. I just wanted to wait to see what our options were. <laughs> good game, Jesus. Yeah, good games, my dude. They know what's up. They can feel it. Yep, this is a fine trade. This primeval titan's on his job. And put a 3-3 with a reach. Just in case. That feels good. I don't know, maybe we're... Maybe we're in bad shape. It's hard to tell. Three O on our first legacy cube without crater hoof feels good. I'm gonna open that treasure chest just so you guys, you guys appreciate it. I know my buddy Matt the Cyclismo gets really upset when we don't open our treasure chests. One guile, ten play points. We're almost at 700 play points. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please consider subscribing or following if you enjoy the content. It's a great way to support the channel. You get a free sub every month with Twitch Prime, and uh, it's a great it's a great way to keep me uh, with a roof over my head because uh, making content is one of my uh, primary sources of income. I really really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.